Hey guys, Pete here with Crunch Time Coaching. Today we're going to take a look at a modern doubles play that if you have a big forehand, it's kind of unstoppable. <laughs> and that's what Rublev was at the Labor Cup, just absolutely dominating the doubles court without traditional doubles skills. You know, we always think of those traditional doubles skills. Oh, you know, doubles is one at the net. you got to serve in volley. But more and more of these modern players are showing, well, you, do you really got to serve in volley? And they're doing just fine. And they they seem to be winning a lot of the battles against, you know, really good volleyers, uh, w breaking their, their volley down with amazing ground strokes and passing shots. And so if you're somebody that has a big forehand or you don't like to serve in volley or both, then this is a play you can copy from Rublev. And this is just a lot of what players are doing. So this is not Rubla, but you know, he's got such a massive forehand and this is this is pretty fun. So so watch this. So here we go. Uh Rublev is serving to Curious here in the ad court. And we're gonna notice that what he's gonna do is something I call a serve and shade. He's gonna serve and he's gonna start cheating over here because he wants to start hitting forehands. He wants to get in a forehand the backhand rally if he can or or he has the confidence that he can you know out out duel curious even with his forehand so he's going to be hitting a lot of what is called inside out forehands and you're going to notice that right here john isner who's a huge dude he's pretty conservative you're not seeing him go and poach and pick off maybe since they play more singles and doubles they could be more aggressive with going to the middle. So I think both right here, Sissy Poss and, and uh, Isner are playing pretty conservative. They, they keep kind of maybe covering the lines a, a little too much. But they also know, you know, Nick Curious had a lot of backhand winners uh, if you watched the Labor Cup up the line. And Rublev, he's basically looking to find his chance to go up the line and then the point. So Isner's got to be... Now, here's here's one thing that's kind of interesting. They say, you know, as a doubles player, you should not look back at your partner, that you should keep your head on the net person. So this is oper actually an opportunity right here for for uh, Sissy Boss to maybe cheat over a little bit and try and uh, steal one. But he also does have to respect the fact that Curios can take this ball at any time and also rip it up the line. So... Maybe since they're not so comfortable with doubles, they're, they're pretty much not doing anything. And Rublev here, this is a great opportunity. Look look where this ball lands. You know, so certainly on the ball like this, Isner's got to really stay home because he's thinking, man, this ball right here is a great opportunity to go inside in. And that's what I love about shading over, especially if you're righty on the, uh, on the ad side because it basically sets you up for, for a bunch of forehands. And hitting up the line, lots of times hitting up the line in in uh, doubles, it's kind of like a fool's gold. You think it's there, especially if the ball's more out here on your backhand side, you try and make that. Lots of times you miss it. But when you have the forehand, you have a lot of court to work with. Inside out, look how much court there is to work with that. And then when you hit inside in, it's like you're kind of hitting a cross court shot. And, and you can even, if you hit it really fast, you got a big forehand, even if you hit at the net person, a lot of times they're just trying to defend it and get it back, you know, in play to you. So you got another lick to either take it right back at them or just, you know, go right back to your pattern of inside out forehands. And that's why the net players look pretty passive here because they're just respecting the big weapons that these players today have. Next ball comes in. Again, another short ball. So Right here, Isner, you can see he's kind of staying home because he's like, these are shots Rublev could easily rip past me. But he keeps taking it, being very patient, going cross court. Again, right here, you can see Kyrgios. I mean, pretty much right here, you can see he's going to go cross court. I think Sissipas being way, way conservative because you can see the way his body is set up to hit the ball right here. Very little chance he's going to go um down the line on this, but again, Sissy Poss really, really being way too conservative here, because if you can get to that net strap, guys, you can you can poach a lot, so remember, these people mostly play singles, so I'm sure like a Bob Bryan or Mike Bryan, 
they probably would be all over that net strap by now. Now look at this one. This is kind of interesting. This is the one that's landing pretty deep, okay? And maybe this is what uh, Rublev sense is like. This is my hardest shot, but I'm going to take the pace from this ball and rip it up the line. This right here, since it is coming deeper in, again, might be a good chance for Isner to go. But you're not really going to see these players really do anything. They're just respecting the power of both players, not so comfortable poaching, and he takes this right off the bounce and rips it. That's called an inside-in forehand. And again, look how much court he has to work with here. So by taking it on the inside rather than to the outside of his body, it gives him a lot more margin for error. It gives him a lot more court to work with, and it can travel, and boom, there it is. So remember this, the next time you go play a doubles match, if you do have a good forehand and you're not so comfortable at the net and you don't like serve volleying, no matter what your coach says there, if you're really good at hitting this or, or, or if you're playing two net people, frankly, like Isner and Sissipas are, if they're showing signs of being tentative or you notice they're not really you know, very good at the net. Now, these two players are excellent at the net. I'm not trying to say they're not very good volleyers. They're both are excellent volleyers, but they're not used to playing doubles. So if you find that you just notice that your opponent is tentative at the net, again, this is a great play to run. Just inside, be very patient. You can see how patient Rublev was. And then when you get your time, take it up the line. Give it a little fist pump. Let's see, does Rublev pump his fist? Does he do it? Oh, yeah. There's the fist pump, guys. And since he's given the fist pump, now it's your turn to give the video the like. And if you want to see more cool videos like this, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Also, I'll put some videos over here and over there for you to watch next. See you guys.